What's up, guys? We're back. Working on the neon again. I reckon this is going to be part two of the Hemi Swap build series. Went ahead and got the bar up in here, new hardware all bolted in. Had to cut the ends off and rotate them. They're tacked in place. So for today, I'm going to work on modifying the engine mounts to fit this. As you can see, it's not really lined up. So we're going to have to swoop it off that end of there. But ain't no big deal. And other than that, I'm going to work on pulling the dash out of here because we're going to have to do some sort of clutch and brake pedal situation in here because I'm thinking about getting rid of this master. It's ugly. It's big. It's hitting the cool pack and valve cover. Won't really be able to service this if need be. So I don't really like that. I'm going to try and do some reverse mount deal to where everything's on the inside and go from there. If we got room, we'll see. First order of business, we're going to be cutting these off. That way we just have the round part here to where we can do a tube notch on another round bar. And uh, we'll be pretty good to go. We don't really need these. It's kind of a weird situation anyway, so just going to get rid of it. So I just put the camera down and got to work. Basically scrapped the other mounts that I had and just made our own. We had the right size diameter. It's two and a half inches long. Cut them up, popped the bushings in them. Good to go. They fit perfectly. Masters off. Pedal assembly is off that thing fought me tooth and nail but she good to go um really just trying to figure out if we're going floor mount top mount whatever we're doing pedal situation wise because we don't have a lot of room for masters we could probably get a little wild and get some shorter stuff going on there other than that if you didn't notice the dash is out dude had all the bolts in this thing couldn't believe it all right so we got the engine set in here we think we got it pretty level and centered so Went ahead and took our measurements. Going to try and swoop these mounts into this bar. Will's got the old circular saw going on. Saw. Whole saw. And uh, typically these things break your wrist. So we're going to see what he's got. Well, I'm about to just uh, do a little YOLO swag right here. Because you <laughs> typically have some form of apparatus to hold this unit. Yeah. We ain't got that. Yeah, it gets close enough. I, I feel a gap. I ain't worried about that. All right, so we basically have both pedestals done. What they're gonna do here is uh, just contour to that bar. We'll weld them up and then they'll just come straight up to that mount right there. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Other than that, this is the old cross member for the trans. Um, ain't gonna work with this one, but I think I'm gonna use it and modify it. The way this car used to be done is <laughs> it was just bolted right there into the floor. I don't really like it. So we're going to try and change that up and C-channel the actual frame itself. And uh, that should be a lot more stronger. Granted that worked, but I, don't, I just don't like it. Alright, so six eyes. Taking a gander at this thing. We got it level across. We got it measuring side to side and the trans side to side. So, I mean, ain't nothing but to stick it now. Hopefully it don't move. Wheels got to get down in here and hold this pipe. Hit her with some plugs. Let me put my fucking safety squints on. Uh, okay. Good right there? Yeah. I can't see. Did no, I get it? Yeah, you got okay. It. All right. What you got? <laughs> At this point, it's just horseshoes and air nades. You know what I'm saying? Bare eye on it. Damn. Tack that thing, Daddy. <laughs> I'm out here burning my cock and balls <laughs> off. I saw that one. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Flashbang. All right, so we got everything tacked up, and the cross member has been pulled out. We're going to do some final welding over here with the TIG so it don't look like trash. But as you can see, it's pretty much what the piece is gonna look like. Might add a couple gussets or something just to brace this, but she gonna ride. It's the next day, we just got back from the uh, metal shop here, picked up some square tubing, and uh, I've already started cutting on it. Already got one piece done. This is basically gonna act as a C channel to go over top of my frame. 
kind of like a little clamp deal and uh, we'll weld that in looks good then uh, gonna do basically the same thing here but it'll overlap that and we're gonna drill through it so we'll be able to bolt in a trans cross member So we're down here with the grinder, cleaning up this frame right now that way we can weld to it. Levi was trying to do a little bit of frame repair. We're dude bolted it to the floor. Thing's so bowed out. Yeah, can't, he crushed it. Can't get that C channel to go up over top of it. We'll get it to. We'll get it. I'm close. All right, so we've been working hard. I am covered in metal. But we got the uh, engine cradle, so whatever you want to call it, cross member, all buttoned up. Wheels come out great. So we're gonna pop the bushings back in there, try and bolt this thing up. That way the engine is situated, and we can go ahead and start on this trans. I got the uh, frame. Let's see, all cleaned up. You can see where that clamshell is gonna go up to it. We'll tack that in and uh, start bracing everything up for a crossbar to go to the uh, trans mount there. Got that bolted up now, that way we'll just connect it to the bar that we're running across. But as for now, for the 17th time, I'm gonna bolt this engine up. This ain't even the last time. All right, God dang, she's in. It fought me a little bit. I ain't gonna lie, but it's bolted down. All the bolts are in it, so that is a win in my book. I'm gonna let the weight off this thing now, and uh, Hey, I mean, I mean, it's solid, basically. Yeah. That's what it is. She good. <laughs> get this oh my god! I mean, I yeah. I mean, fuck him. <laughs> whether you trust it or not, the thing says she's in there. Level. And so we just got the metal off the drill press. Everything is lined up, drilled out. Just got a, this frame reinforcement tacked in right there. So what's going to happen? Damn, it's smoky under here, bro. Let's go clamshell that. Got to, you know, clean it up a little bit. Got some burrs on it, but we'll line up through in bowl holes. We'll put a bar between them. Good to go. Connect it with that. Transit secure. I can't breathe it. hot steamy pile of shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh god damn. Alright, so the camera died. Tis unfortunate, but we got the trans cross member bolted up in there. Everything's good to go. We're actually gonna take all this stuff back out. That's really unfortunate, but we're not gonna bore you with that. Um, got a little bit more welding to do, and it's just gonna be a lot easier to do it on the lift because this flux is eating your boy up. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> so other than that it is fully mounted in the car now besides for this two by four we forgot about under the trans <laughs> so we're going to end up having to cut that out because she's stuck but you know damn i guess it is kind of fully assisted i might have to i think it's gonna drop a little no you don't think no it's got to no i ain't tight and shit it don't matter all right Not a single bit, bro. Half of it. Well, it's on the dam. Oh, my God. Oh, dude, look at that! 
That's what I'm fucking talking about, boy. That shit mounted.